President Ranil Wickram Singhi emphasized that the standards of the Sri Lankan universities were high on the list of Asian universities. The standard and reputation of the universities should be restored and improved once again in the country's university system to attract students overseas. This would also help to improve the development of the country's economy. The president stressed that he is satisfied with the education received during his era compared to the present day. For many of the people during his time, the United Kingdom was a second choice, if not the first, after the University of Ceylon. However, when asked by the young generation today about the satisfaction of today's education system, the answer would be negative. Even if they are selected for a university, they are trying to go abroad. The president highlighted the need for fixing the issues with the educational system in this nation and added that conditions should be put in place so that everyone can complete their education at the appropriate age and move on. President Wickram Singhi stressed the importance of being attentive to the South Asian population. In 2050, India will have about another 3 minus 400 million, rising to 1.7 billion. The poverty level will decrease, while the better income number will increase. He anticipated that this change may occur in Bangladesh, Pakistan, Myanmar, and the East African nations. They alone can't be building universities. India will have nothing else to do if they are going to provide education for all of them, so they will either use other techniques. Therefore, Sri Lanka must be vigilant in these areas. If Sri Lanka has a sufficient number of universities, it would help to cater to some of them from those areas. These remarks were revealed by President Ranil Wickram Singhi while addressing the CVCD Excellence Awards, held at the Bandaranaika Memorial International Conference Hall in Colombo on Friday, June 9.